This week's Tractor Tales comes to us from the Lone Star State. Jim's field shows us a slightly modified 1947 Farmall H. This is a 1947 farm tractor, Farmall. Uh, it, it, has, it, is, it has been used as a farm tractor. Uh, the gentleman who had it bought it new, and I bought it from a friend of his, and they've both passed away since. And they put the wide front end on it. Uh, I don't know why a lot of guys like the wide front end. Most of them are tricycle. I have another one that's a 1941 uh, H. This has the Swartz front end out of Chicago. It was, uh, a lot of the collectors like those wide front ends. I have a farm out uh, about 20 miles from here, and I use it out there. Uh, I cultivate with it, and uh, I plant Sweet Sudan every year. And I use this one and my M. You know, if I was growing corn, I'd use it in the cornfields because of the wide front. There's so many people you can buy parts from, or a lot of times we'll buy an old parts tractor. It's been setting up and the engine's frozen. We need a part. We have one sitting on our property somewhere with parts. We just take it off of that one. If it works, it wouldn't run. The carburetor was messed up. And uh, I took the float out, rebuilt the float, rebuilt the carburetor, put a new float in. Cranked it up and it had an old beer can on the top of the muffler and it shot it about 40 feet in the air when it fired. I've had it at four parades with the original plugs and wiring on it. I didn't change them, but at the last parade I went to, I had to change plugs, started fouling out. But, and it runs great. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I restored it and painted it. it uh, when I got it, it was just a rust bucket. And those were the original tires on the back. I enjoy the tractors and taking them to the shows and the parades. Kids enjoy seeing them. International Harvester began making the Farmall line in 1923. The tractors were only sold in Texas because International Harvester was not sure the tricycle type tractor would be accepted throughout the U.S.